Hey guys, I'm Tang with Fox Airsoft, and today's video is going to be about the G36C platform. So these are primarily produced by Elite Force and Umrex, under license by H and K. Uh, this is the HK G36C. So I'm going to show you the little quirks and little things about how to use your G36C. We haven't had these in quite a while, so I figured it's a good time to do a video on this guy. Okay, so first of all, it's a very pretty compact rifle, so that's free red. Um, on top of that, you can fold the stock. It folds over with the button on the left-hand side. You push it over and it has a little bit of give and you lift it gently and it'll lock into place. To release, there's no button. You just do the same thing, pull out, and then locks. Moving forward, you'll find a sling loop here. You also have the front sling loop. This'll take, this'll work with the HK style sling loops or things that you can rig where you put it through a little eyelet there and then tie it off. Then forward to that, you have the grip section here, which has a fire selector for safe, semi, and full auto. On the Pro-Line model, which is gonna be pretty much the same thing, but with a stronger nylon fiber body and a simulated blowback function, you'll have a burst function as well. Moving forward, you have the magazine well, which you release the magazine by pressing the thumb release here. G36 will take its own proprietary magazines. They have mid caps and high caps available, as well as drums even. This magazine well is also convertible. Some people might switch this to take an M4 style magazine so that they can run more of the magazines they do own. The top here is a Picatinny rail with integrated backup sights. The charging handle here is ambidextrous. And you pull it back to reveal the hop-up chamber. The hop-up chamber is gonna be in the breech here on the right-hand side, which reveals a big dial for the hop-up unit. On the Pro-Line version of this gun with the simulated blowback, this does move back and forth as you shoot. Now we move on to the front handguard section here. You have the Picatinny rails on three sides. Underneath the handguard is where the battery will be housed. To access this, you're simply gonna push this pin out and it may be tight when it's brand new, so you might need to tap it out a little bit. The pin is out, and you just slide the handguard forward. These guns will always be front wired unless you have an unusual stock of some sort, but there's really no room for battery in the current type of stock, the skeleton stock, so it's always gonna be a front wired gun. This will take a 9.6 nickel metal hydride battery and nunchuck style, and you'll just put the connector on tuck it and then slide the handguard back on. This is where you will insert the takedown pins. That way you don't lose it when you're doing some other stuff with the gun. You'll notice there's pins throughout the body. And although there's no reason to take out these two for installing battery, these are gonna be ones that you remove if you ever take apart or upgrade your gun. The Sportline and Proline G36Cs by Elite Force will also feature a quick change spring system, which is accessed through the back here. You'll remove this portion to access the spring guide and remove the spring. Different brand G36s may come as counterclockwise 14 millimeter and guns such as the Proline HK G36 will be a clockwise 14 millimeter. So uh, double check before you purchase anything for it as far as flash hider goes. All right, so that's the G36 in a nutshell. If you have any questions or like these kind of videos as far as teaching you the different platforms, be sure to leave a comment for us below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey guys, George here, and I just wanted to take a second to tell you about our starter kits, which are available now on our website. If you're a brand new player to Airsoft, this is going to come with everything you need to go on the field and play. So be sure to check out those starter kits while we have them in stock. George here, and I just, nope, not gonna use that. I'm here, <laughs> look at me. <laughs>